In the old days, most 35mm film was sold with processing included. Whoever manufactured the film charged you for processing when you bought the roll and gave you a mail that is sent it into their lab for processing. You can still pay for your processing when you buy your roll of film. Although today, most people don't decide on processing until after the film has been shot. That's because with mini labs like this one, which have sprung up all over the country, with one hour service, it's possible to have your film processed and printed at a location that's nearest to you, wherever you may be. If you're on vacation or shooting away from home, you can get each day's prints as you go. It's convenient, it's fun, and it's reassuring to know that your flash, camera, and accessories are working correctly, instead of finding out that you have a malfunction when you get back home. If you're like most amateur photographers, you can easily identify your best pictures. <laughs> They're the ones that disappear. Your family or friends might run off with your best shots, so plan ahead. It's a good idea to look at your pictures before you leave your processor. That way you can select your best shots and make a print order before you leave the store. And you just may spot that special shot that could make a great enlargement. If you do, you're in the right place to do something about it, and you can order enlargements before you leave. Another option, if you have a group shot and you know that the people in that picture would like extra copies, you can order two or three prints from each negative. A local on-site photo lab can give you personal attention when choosing the right copy or an enlargement, since they are directly involved with the printing of your film.